On September 30, 2024, the U.S. Department of Defense awarded Boeing a $6.9 billion contract for the production and delivery of the small diameter bombs Increment 1, SDBI. The SDB, which entered service in 2006, significantly enhances an aircraft's payload capacity, allowing a single 907-kilogram bomb to be replaced with a rack of four SDBs. This contract will facilitate the delivery of these munitions to multiple countries, including Japan, Bulgaria, and Ukraine, through the Foreign Military Sales FMS, program. The project is expected to be completed by December 31, 2035. The contract is funded by multiple fiscal year appropriations, including fiscal year 2022 missile procurement funds of $147,207, fiscal year 2023 funds of $2,457,134, fiscal year 2024 funds amounting to $34,324,863, and $396,427,227 from FMS funds, all obligated at the time of the award. Since production began in 2005, over 17,000 SDB units have been manufactured. This highly adaptable weapon system can be used by several aircraft, such as the F-15E Strike Eagle, Panavia Tornado, J-39 Gripen, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-22 Raptor, and AC-130W. Looking forward, Boeing plans to integrate the SDBI into additional platforms like the F-35 Lightning II, A-10 Thunderbolt II, B-1 Lancer, B-2 Spirit, B-52 Stratofortress, AC-130J, and potentially unmanned systems like the General Atomics NQ-20 Avenger. The GBU-39-BSDBI is a 113-kilogram precision-guided glide bomb developed by Boeing Integrated Defense Systems. It enhances operational flexibility by increasing the number of targets that can be engaged during a single mission. The bomb is guided by a GPS-aided inertial navigation system, allowing it to strike fixed or stationary targets such as fuel depots and bunkers. The SDBI contains approximately 16 kilograms of AFX-757 high explosive and deploys wings after release, enabling it to glide over 111 kilometers. Its precision is remarkable with a circular error probable CEP, of about 1 meter. The bomb's warhead is designed to penetrate more than 1 meter of steel-reinforced concrete, making it highly effective against fortified structures. Its fuse provides cockpit-selectable functions, including air burst and delayed detonation, which further enhance its versatility. Several variants of the SDBI have been developed to meet different operational needs. The GBU-39A-B, also known as the Focused Lethality Munition FLM, features a lightweight composite casing and a focused blast explosive to minimize collateral damage in urban environments. Boeing delivered the first 50 FLM weapons in 2008, with 500 units completed by 2013. Another variant, the Laser SDB GBU-39B-B, includes semi-active laser guidance, which allows it to engage moving targets. Fielded by U.S. Special Operations Command in 2014, this version has successfully hit moving targets at speeds of up to 80.5 km per hour. The SDB-I weighs 129 kg, measures 1.80 meters in length, and extends to 1.61 meters in width when its wings are deployed. In its packed state, the bomb's width is 190 millimeters. Across all SDBI variants, the warhead weighs 93 kilograms. The standard SDBI GBU-39-B contains a penetrating blast fragmentation warhead with a steel nose cone and is certified as insensitive munition, offering greater safety in storage and transportation. The focused lethality munition GBU-39-A-B variant carries 62 kilograms of AFX-1209 MBX a specialized explosive design for multi-phase blasts, while the Laser SDB variant lacks the steel nose cone but shares a similar explosive fill. These variants maintain an operational range exceeding 111 km when airdropped, with extended ranges of up to 150 km when ground-launched using the ground-launched Small Diameter Bomb GLSDB, system. The GLSDB, co-developed by Boeing and Saab, enables ground-based launches of the SDB from platforms like the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System and M142 HIMARS. By combining the SDB with the M26 rocket, the GLSDB offers a flexible strike capability. It entered mass production in 2023 and was first used in combat by Ukraine in 2024. Despite its versatility, the GLSDB faced challenges due to Russian electromagnetic warfare capabilities, 
as well as tactical and procedural shortcomings. The Ukrainian Air Force has employed airdropped SDBs since November 2023, achieving an impressive, nearly 90% success rate. Reports indicate that Ukraine has modified MiG-29 as fighters to carry eight GBU-39-B bombs. While the airdropped version remains resilient to jamming, the GLSDB's more predictable flight path has made it more susceptible to radar detection and interception. The SDBI has seen widespread adoption, with current operators including Australia, Israel, Italy, the Netherlands, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Sweden, and Ukraine. The U.S. remains the largest operator of the weapon system. Future operators such as Bahrain, Bulgaria, Morocco, and Turkey have also signed contracts to acquire the SDB in the coming years. As this contract further extends the reach of the SDBI, it underscores the growing demand for precision-guided munitions capable of meeting the evolving needs of modern warfare. The SDBI's modular design, compatibility with multiple platforms, and global availability position it as a vital asset in the arsenals of many nations for years to come.